Lightroom Classic is a fantastic tool for cataloging your files and for editing your images. However, if for some reason your catalog is messed up, how do you fix it? Today I'm going to show you how to fix a jacked up catalog in Lightroom Classic. Coming up. I'm Terry Vanderheiden, professional photographer. I always encourage my subscribers to reach out to me, either by leaving a comment below each video, which I read and respond to, or if they'd rather, they can send me an email with their questions. Now, you can reach out to me directly via email at terry at imagelight.com if you like. But far and away, the question I get most often is how to fix my catalog. Sometimes it's missing images. That's a, that's a big part. But many times a photographer has a catalog and they're saying, okay, I want to transfer all this to a external hard drive so I can move that catalog to another computer. Or I want to just do my simple backup. Like I show you how I do my backups where I take a simple external hard drive and back it up with a duplicate. So today I'm going to show you a few tricks to how to fix a catalog that's kind of messed up or a catalog that you want to just start from scratch. All right, let's get into it. All right, so we're on the computer desktop here and I have all of my images reside in this uh, hard drive here, this external hard drive along with my catalog. So let me show you how this looks. Go in here, we go to sample catalog and we can see that all of our images are inside of light in, inside here and they're all in their folders because Lightroom will create a folder based on the date that it was that it was made. And then this is our sample catalog. This is the information that Lightroom Classic needs to know to open up a catalog. So if you have several catalogs, this is a pretty simple way to go. You can just go to your hard drive, double click on this little blue LRC icon. It'll open up Lightroom Classic and then your catalog is right there. So this is a real simple way to get to your catalog. So one of the things that happens for a lot of people is they'll, they're working on their catalog and they're going to, they're quickly importing something. And when they go to import, I'll see if we can show you here. When you go to import, you look over here and you see, okay, we're going to copy, but sometimes this is changed. Like for instance, pictures is the default, right? So you hurry up and you load them. And now those pictures go into your hard drive. And while that's okay, the problem is, is that if you ever want to transfer it or do something else, it's not going to work. All right, so let's go ahead and cancel out of this. So let me show you an example. What happens is, is Lightroom knows where your images are. So let's go in here and we're gonna to go to this first folder here and we'll grab this image here. And we're gonna go ahead and take that and just put it into missing for a quick second. So it's no longer here, it's in here. So let's go into the Lightroom Classic. And here's what happens. You're scrolling around and you see the dreaded exclamation point of death. And you can't see where is that image, right? Because if you go to click on this, and go to develop, it's going to tell you, hey, this file can't be found, which means you can't do any developing, can't do any changes to the image. And that image is lost according to Lightroom Classic. Now we know what we did with it, right? We put it into that missing folder. So let's go back. We click on the little exclamation point and we want to locate that image. Now, if you don't know where it is, you can take the file name, which is right here and maybe do a global search on your whole computer until you find that image, then you'll know where to put it. Or you could re-import it if you wanted to. We're just going to hit locate and we're going to tell Lightroom where it is. Oh, it's down here. That's where we click on it and we hit select. So now, that exclamation point goes away because now Lightroom knows where that image is at. But again, in this case, it's in different folders, right? It's not in those, in those regular folders. So that could be problematic down the road because what ultimately happens sometimes is when people are importing, they're in a hurry. So let's say they go into import and they, they, instead of putting their images in their transfer disc, maybe this has defaulted to like desktop and it'll go into pictures, right? This is typical of how things get messed up. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're excited to look at your images. You go in to load them, you hit copy, 
and then you just load them in and they go into pictures. And from your standpoint, that particular day, it's not something that you're going to be able to notice. It won't be something that you'll notice at all, right? Let's go ahead and click done. Lightroom knows where everything's at. These images are in uh, the pictures file. These images are on that external hard drive. These images are on this external hard drive. And for your normal day to day, you're not going to notice a difference until something goes wrong. And now you need to take, gather up all your images and you want to duplicate them or you want to use my system of taking and putting all of the images and your catalog on the same external hard drive. So it's easily duplicated, easily moved. Then you have got to start over. So here's how we do this. One of the things, let's go in here real quick, like, and we're gonna hit develop, and we're just gonna make this, we'll make it super bright. Same with this one, we'll bring up the brightness on this here. And this one, we'll bring up the shadows, and we'll bring up the exposure a little bit. This one here, we're gonna just do a little cropping. So we're just doing really quick edits here to show you something. So here's a shot of Yosemite Valley. And one of the ways when you have real super contrasty days, you're gonna take, maybe you bring the exposure up a little bit, take those highlights, slide them all the way down to the left and bring your shadows all the way up to the, to the right. And that gives you a much less contrastier image. Let's go into this image and let's come down to effects. And we'll just put a big vignette around it. All right, we go into this image and we're just going to create a mask. So we'll hit mask and we'll hit sky. It's going to select the sky for us. And then instead of doing any changes, what we're going to do is just add a little, we'll add some kind of purple magenta in the sky. So that way everything is a little different. So now we've got all of these images that we've worked on and we can see over here in all photographs, there's nine images total. So those are all images that we're going to do. Now, let's say, for instance, this is over time. You've done work on a lot of these images and now you want to really organize. And the way to really organize, it's not simple in the sense of time, but it is simple in terms of the steps. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your catalog the way it is right now, where Lightroom knows where all the images are and you want to export them. So let's go to, to our first one and we're going to right click. Go down to export, come up, click on export. Now this export dialog comes up. And typically what I suggest people to do is to just export these into a folder. It's a temporary folder. You're just going to put them into a folder to, for safekeeping. Kind of like as if you were putting them onto a card that you're shooting from. So let's go ahead and choose. And we've got a catalog here on the desktop called catalog images. There's nothing in it. So we'll choose that. Now, this is an important part. You don't want to rename things. That's not something you really want to do at this stage. If you want to rename, that's up to you, but I don't suggest it because you don't want any confusion as to what your images are. The file settings says JPEG, right? So I don't want a JPEG. What I want is original. This is important. You want the original because it's going to come over as the original, in my case, a Nikon RAW file, and it's also going to come with the instructions of what we told it to do. So that's original. Let's go ahead and export. And let's just reduce this for a second so we can see what we did. We go into catalog images and we see that's the image of the bird. And this XMP is the instructions that we told Lightroom to do to it. Remember, we lightened it up quite a bit. So this enables us to not only export the image, but also all of our work. So if you've been doing this for years and you've got a lot of images that are inside of Lightroom that have uh, development work or masks or any of those other things, you don't want to lose that. That's terrible. So what you're going to do is you're going to export as original. All those files along with their XMP files are going to go into wherever you put these. Now let's go ahead and do the rest of them. And the way to do that, real simple way, you could right click each one, go to export and do export with previous, right? It's gonna to go to the right same spot. Or you can simply click on one, hold the shift key down. And now this is your rest of your catalog, right click, export, export to previous. It'll take a few seconds. It'll export all these images. And now let's just go take a look at what we have. 
Inside here, inside our catalog images, we have all of these images along with their XMP files. Those are super important to have that XMP because that's the instructions we're telling Lightroom. All right, so now let's make a new catalog. So we've, we've exported all of our images and now we're gonna make a new catalog. Today's video is a good example of how comments can lead to new videos. I always read and respond to all the comments in the comment section. When I start seeing multiple questions about the same problem, it's time for me to maybe make a new video to explain a few things. So feel free to leave a question, suggestion, or feedback in the comment section. I will read it and I will respond. Now, if you're enjoying this kind of content, hit the like button. It helps you to realize that this should be offered up to other like-minded viewers and I get more people watching it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and read the, ring that little bell icon so you'll be notified of my next video. So now what we're gonna do is create a brand new catalog and we're gonna do it here on the transfer disk. So let's go ahead and make a new folder and we'll just do new catalog. Okay, so this is our new catalog, there's nothing in it, right? So let's go into Lightroom Classic and we have the old catalog still up here. We come up here, we go to file, we go new catalog and it's gonna say, okay, where do you want this new catalog? Well, we want it in this folder of new catalog and we're just gonna call this new cat. So that's what we're naming it, new catalog and we're gonna create. Lightroom shuts down and then opens up with a brand new blank catalog. There's nothing in here, right? So now what we want to do is we want to import those images that we saved to the desktop. So let's go to import. This is kind of like similar to if you had a, uh, a, a camera card that you wanted to export. So we go into catalog images and there they all are. Okay. And we're going to import those into our transfer disk. So this is obviously super important, right? They're coming from that folder where we threw all the images into. We're going to copy them and we got to make sure that this is selected right. Transfer disk and we're going to put this into new catalog. So everything goes into this folder, our catalogs in there as well as our images. So let's go ahead and do import. So we've exported from wherever those images might have been and now we're putting them all into, into Lightroom. And look what it did. It brought in all the images with all of our changes. So remember we made that one overexposed or we made this one that had you know, purple sky. All of the changes that we made, crop this one, all of the changes we made came with it because it had those XMP files that came with it, right? That's what's so important to have, those, have that file. We exported it as original and we just brought it in with those changes. So now we have this whole new catalog and it's all sitting right here on an external drive. So it's easy for you to unplug this, take it to another computer. If your computer crashes, you don't have to worry about images lost on your, on your main hard drive. This is easily duplicatable. So you're gonna take and get an identical one and duplicate it. So now you have two that has your catalog as well as all of your images in it. So it will take time. If you've got a really large catalog of images, it's gonna take time to export them but it's worth it because you're going to export all the images into a standing folder and then import them all into a new hard drive where everything resides in the same spot. So this is a great way to fix your catalog. And then from then on, you're just going to load into that catalog and everything's going to be right on, this, on that same external hard drive. I hope this helps you guys when you run into things that are messed up on your catalog. It'll be a real simple way to fix it. You just go in export all of those images out into a folder and take those images and then re-import them into a brand new catalog where everything's there. But make sure that you're exporting as originals so you have those raw files and that raw data you can work with as well as those XMP files that go along with it. All right, see you next time.